Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to read a line plot that involves halves. Now remember, a line plot is a type of graph that displays data along a number line. We use X's above the number line to show the number of times something occurs. Basically, line plots help us organize and present data. Let's jump into our example where we have a line plot and then we have four questions to see if we can read and understand the line plot. For our example, it says, AJ built towers out of blocks. He measured the height of each tower to the nearest half inch and created a line plot to display the heights. Now looking at the line plot, we have a title up top right here that tells us what the line plot is about, what it's showing us. The title says, Heights of AJ's Block Towers. And then we have our number line right here. It starts at eight and counts up by one half to 11 and a half. And then underneath the line plot, under the number line, we have inches. That's our unit of measure. That tells us what the numbers on the number line represent. So those numbers represent inches. Then each X represents a tower. For example, if we look at 11 and a half, we have one X above that. That means one tower was 11 and a half inches. Let's jump into our questions now, starting with number one, where we have, what was the height of the shortest tower AJ built? Well, we need to look for the smallest number in value on our number line with at least one X above it. That's going to be eight, eight inches. And that's the shortest tower AJ built. So going back to the question, what was the height of the shortest tower AJ built? Eight inches. Moving on to number two, we have how many towers did AJ build? So for this, we need to see how many total X's are included on the line plot. Each X represents a tower. So we need to count all of the towers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many towers did AJ build? 15 towers. Moving on to number three, we have how many towers were less than 10 inches tall? Let's start by finding 10 inches. That's right here. We need all of the towers less than 10 inches. So we need all of the towers to the left of 10 inches on the number line. So we're looking at eight inches, eight and a half inches, nine inches, and nine and a half inches. We have one, two, three, four. So how many towers were less than 10 inches tall? Four towers. Lastly, number four, we have what was the most common height? In other words, which height occurred the most number of times? Well, eight inches occurred once, eight and a half inches occurred zero times, nine inches occurred three times, nine and a half inches occurred zero times, 10 inches occurred three times, 10 and a half inches occurred two times, 11 inches occurred five times, and then 11 and a half inches occurred once. So the most common height was 11 inches. It occurred five times. Five towers were 11 inches tall. So looking at the question, what was the most common height? 11 inches. So there you have it. There's how to read and understand a line plot with halves. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.